That's right, as soon as we finished crying over how much RTX 40 series cards are gonna cost us, the first leaks of RTX 50 series cards have already started to appear, and none of us are financially prepared for it. That's right, we already have a very first taster of what the next series of NVIDIA GPUs, based on a brand new Blackwell architecture, will have to offer. Starting off, we could expect up to two times performance compared to last gen. Huh, where have I heard that before? Except for, oh wait, that is literally what we're told every single generation. So yeah, as expected, it's going to be faster. But what else is new? Well, we are expecting to get another node shrink, with NVIDIA going down from TSMC's 5 nanometer to, most likely, 3 nanometer, or at least that is what would give the most sense given what we know about TSMC's current 3 nanometer offerings. However, some prominent NVIDIA leakers suggest that this won't be the case, and we might be seeing 4 nanometer GPUs instead. Either way, we should be seeing some pretty good efficiency gains thanks to this, and we're gonna need all the efficiency gains we could get. Nvidia is once again going for a monolithic chip approach like what they did with the RTX 40 series and Ada Lovelace GPUs. And these chips did bring with them some pretty huge performance gains on top of some pretty beefy coolers but hopefully it is going to be worth it in the end. But guess what? Nvidia has even more up the sleeve. Kind of. Maybe. These are leaks after all so again we're not really sure. The first big thing is the potential for GDDR7 memory. So Nvidia could be just skipping right over the much improved GDDR6W memory that was also recently released by Samsung. And while we don't know much else about the memory situation, such as the bus width or even just memory capacity, Hopefully, NVIDIA will be able to take full advantage of this for some pretty insane capacity, seeing how we know VRAM usage is kind of going through the roof right now. Either way, we still probably have a long way to wait until these GPUs actually start to appear, with rumors suggesting release dates of some time in 2024. So until then, we get to enjoy the amazing performance and absurd pricing of the RTX 4000 cards instead. But anyway, let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. And while you're still here, maybe also check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Aki B, Justin Rage, Ella Froniak, Balash Roka, Meg Sumner, Shane Orcroft, Lansby, Shannon Odgan, and Level Up. Down there you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's all it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.